Good morning, welcome in. It's time for the Martin Morning Report. Derek Martin here, joined by my co-host Duncan Martin. Duncan, take a look at the look at the look. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look up there. All right. It is a Tuesday. It's April twenty third, and we've got five fast things for a Monday, and it starts always with the performance of the day. Of the day. He's correct. And who is it? Do you know Hudson? Turner, do you know? Is it like Aaron? Danica Arnold. <laughs> what did he say? Danica Arnold is the per Danica Ankin? Danica Arnold is the performance of the day. She helped Glenwood to the Ram Relays Championship last night in track and field. She won the 100, the 200, the 400, and she is the Martin Morning Report performance of the day. Now, the Rams finished with 160 points. Grace Berglund won the 3,000. Brecken Peterson, the 400 hurdles. Jalen Floyd, the high jump. They also had two relay victories in their victory. Other winners last night in the world of girls track. Aubert was the winner of the Fall City Invite. Had 59 points. Addison Darnell, Mackenzie Stanley, Liston Crotty, Heidi Gertis, Emma Hyde, Kristen Billings, all winning events, plus two relay victories for Auburn. Ashlyn Greenwood was a champion at Conestoga, 86 points. Jocelyn Sargent, Keely Reekin and Malia Howard all won events. They also won the 4x1. Multi-time winners, Jordan Matteo won the shot put and discus for Lewis Central at Glenwood. Also, Lily Denton won the 800 and 1500 at Glenwood for St. Albert. Molly Weber of Johnson County Central won the 1 and the 2 at Falls City. On to boys track where Glenwood, Riverside, and Falls City all claim championships. Glenwood, 170 and a half points, winning their Ram relays. Andrew Smith, Brian Keller, Chase Razor, Peyton Longmire. Reagan Scarnulis and two relays were winners. Riverside, 110 points. They end up with a victory yesterday as well. And Dawson Henderson, Jackson Gordon, all both winning individual events. Four relay victors. Falls City had 36 and a half points. Daniel Hollins and Devin Smith were winners. They also won the four by one. Multi-time winners on the boys' side. Brody Colon. Never heard of him? Brody Colon. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got a nice mustache. That's stuff you know him from, right? Shade that thing. 100 and 200 in Glenwood. Landon Benjen, a winner of the mile and the two mile at Woodbine yesterday. Trace Obank of Lamars won the half and the two mile at Cherokee. J.R. Rico won the mile and the two mile for Nebraska City at Falls City. Burke Moody of Auburn won the two and the four at Falls City. And Riley Wilson and Sam Clements continue to do their things for Elwin Murdoch winning the hurdle events. Does Wilson and Clements, the shot, and the discus. On the number two, baseball yesterday, East Atchison, South Holt, Platte Valley, Nottoway Valley, Savannah, Albany, Platte Smith, Nebraska City, and Auburn all were winners. Multi-time hits for Auburn's, excuse me, let's start with East Atchison. East Atchison's Tate Johnson, who also threw a complete game shutout. South Holt's Hayes Weller, who also struck out 14. Cole Metzger, Garrett Geyer, Rockport St. Cook, Platte Valley, Missouri's Brody Staples, Landon Wiederholt, Justin Miller, Brandon McQueen, Dylan Clam, Nottoway Valley's John Smock, Savannah's Zayden Snap, Wyatt Jackson, Mason Waitkoss, Albany's Shane Miller, Jared Smith, Chase Klein, Cole Emerson, Kent Keaton Stevens, Quentin Herkman. Man, struggling. Everyone but Miller there that I listed for Albany also hit a home run. Nebraska City, Zach Hawley, a multi hit game plus fantastic work on the mound. Gladsmith's Caleb Adkins had three hits. Gage Olson and Eli Horner had two. Auburn's Christian Gage and Trevon Shaw had three hits. Shaw's three hits were all triples. And Gus McGill, Louisville Weeping Water, also a two hit game. Auto number three, boys golf, Kemper and Maverick Schwabe won the Dennis and Schleswig tournament yesterday at Majestic Hills. And boy, those hills are majestic. Trust me. The 318 for Kemper, a 72 for Schwabe, respectively. Atlantic and Hudson McLaren were second. Lewis Central was third. Joe Miller for LC was fourth. Dennison Sleswig's Easton Emery was fifth. So was his team. Brody Sneed of Glenwood finished third. Shenandoah, Clarinda, Sydney, Lennox, Nottoway Valley, Audubon, AHSTW, Missouri Valley, Trainer, Wayne, Cam, King City. All were winners. Top nine hole score of the day was Keith Thompson of Hamburg and Chase Jotty of Cam. They both shot a 35. Girls Golf, Red Oak, Clarinda, Lewis Central, Sydney, Heartland Christian, Nottoway Valley, Underwood, Logan Magnolia, Riverside, Trainer, Southeast Warren, Boyer Valley, and Helan all were winners. Addison Brink, the low nine-hole score for Riverside, shot a 41. Sophie Peterson of Trainer right behind her with a 43. Kemper, by the way, did take third at Panorama. Elsa Tiefenthaler finished second with an, a 48. We're on to number four. Girls soccer winners yesterday were Harlan, Tri-Center, Kemper, Missouri Valley, Logan Magnolia, and Lamar's. 
Five goals for Zoe Widkop of Lamar's led the way. Four for Sierra Pudence of Kemper and Brooklyn Lang of Missouri Valley. Three for Aubrey Schwiso of Harlan and Chloe Stoops of Missouri Valley. McKenna Witte of Logan Magnolia, also a hat trick. And then two goals for Tri-Centers, Quincy Schneckloth, Devin Coyle of Missouri Valley, and Micah Robbins of Logan Magnolia. And boys soccer yesterday, trainer St. Albert, Denison, Slesway, Kemper, AHSTW, AL, Sioux City North, and the Platts, all were area winners. Four goals for Caden Baxter of AHSTW and Brock Poland from Trainer. Two goals for Kyle Irwin and Christopher Mosley of St. Albert. Danny Kinsella of Trainer. Luke Weavers and Richard Gonzalez of Denison Sleswig. Ethan Holtz of AHSTW. Jonathan Amador of AL. Isaac Rogel of Sioux City North and Dominic Versalino of the Platte. Number five, boys tennis winners. Creston Glenwood, Atlantic, Kemper, TJ Heelan, Sergeant Bluff, Luton, and Maryville all were victorious. Girls tennis winners were Clarinda, Lewis Central, Atlantic, and Dennison Sleswig, plus Heelan and Sioux City East in the Missouri River Conference, and Kemper and TJ all added wins. Those are five fast things on the Martin Morning Report. Tuesday is going to be filled with more. Another day with over 100 events. The fingers will be tapping. The results will be posted. The Martin Morning Report will return Tomorrow, have a great Tuesday.